Hello everybody, how do you do? Hello everybody, how are you? Hello everybody, it's good to see you. I'm glad to see you today. Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to be reading a story to you about five little monkeys. And after the story is finished, I'll also retell it using puppets. So first of all, when you read a story, you can get ideas from the author and create your own story. And that way, when you use puppets, you can either retell the story that the author told, or you can make up your own version of the story. So today, we're going to read Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. And this is Eileen Cristalo's version of the story. Let's see what she says. Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed Retold and illustrated by Eileen Cristalo. It was bedtime, so five little monkeys took a bath. Five little monkeys put on their pajamas. Five little monkeys brushed their teeth. Five little monkeys said good night to their mama. You can keep a steady beat with this next part with your fingers on your legs. You ready? Here we go. Five little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So, four little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Let's see what happens next. <gasps> so three little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three have fallen off. I wonder what the other two monkeys will do. <gasps> So two little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey. So one little monkey jumped on the bed. She fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How do you think that doctor is feeling? Are the monkeys following his directions? So five little monkeys fell fast asleep. Thank goodness, said the mama. Now I can go to bed. What's the mama doing? Where do you think those monkeys learn to jump on the bed? Have you ever jumped on the bed? It's actually kind of fun, but you need to stay safe and ask permission. So on this story, the mama jumped on the bed at the ending. How would you end your story? You can make up your own puppets and tell your own version of the story. I have another video that I showed you how to make a simple stick puppet. I have a question for you. If you started with five monkeys and three fell off the bed, how many are still jumping on the bed? What other mathematical story problems could you make? How many monkeys could fit on a bus or on a plane? If two monkeys can sit on a seat, and there are 16 seats. How many monkeys will fit on the bus in all? What if three monkeys could fit on each seat and there are 16 seats? I wonder where do monkeys live in the wild? Which continents? Hmm, which countries? Do monkeys live in the wild in the United States of America? What are the 
the characteristics of a monkey? What makes a monkey a monkey? What do monkeys eat? Where do they live? Do they live alone or in families or in large groups? How are monkeys and apes alike? How are they different? What else can you learn about monkeys? Where could you view monkeys in New Mexico? Hmm, maybe the biopark? Right now you can't go to the biopark, but you can visit the biopark online. There's something else you can do. You can go to learning resources online and find fun activities to do with five little monkeys or any book. One of those resources is called makinglearningfun.com. And there I found some fun math cards. And here I have one, two, three, four, five monkeys jumping on the bed. So I would circle the number five. How many do you see here? And here, and here, and here, and we didn't talk about zero. When all the monkeys have fallen off the bed, we have zero. Now, I'm going to go behind my puppet stage and retell the story in my words. Stay right there. I'm still here, and I'm finding my monkey friends. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. So, three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. It fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Good night. I even have more finger puppets to share with you with my little monkeys. So on this one, this one came from Making Learning Fun. So I got the templates to make the monkeys online and the idea for using a paint stick or a piece of cardboard to have the monkeys be on the bed. Here it comes. Five little monkeys. Whoops, one already fell off. Hold on. Technical difficulties. One moment, please. All right, here we go. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Whoops, one fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. 
Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. But one little monkey jumping on the bed. It fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. The end. Well, I hope this story gave you some ideas for creating your own puppets and telling some puppet stories yourself. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Until we meet again. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye.